identifies and draws the line of symmetry in a given symmetrical figure. Tanya traced the figure on a piece of paper and cut the trace. When she folded it into halves, the two pieces matched. The two halves that matched exactly along the fold form a figure called symmetrical figure. The line along the fold is called line of symmetry. Trace this figure on a sheet of paper. Cut the trace and fold it into two halves along the dashed line. Do the two parts fit together exactly? Let us practice. In each figure below, is the dotted line a line of symmetry? I will give you 10 seconds to answer and the timer starts now. And the answer is no, it is not a line of symmetry. Let's try this second figure. Is the dotted line a line of symmetry? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is no, it is not a line of symmetry. How about this yellow star? Is the dotted line a line of symmetry? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is yes, it is a line of symmetry. Let's try this figure. Is the dotted line a line of symmetry? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is no, it is not a line of symmetry. How about this red heart? Is the dotted line a line of symmetry? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is yes, it is a line of symmetry. The types of line of symmetry can be categorized based on the basis of its orientation. Vertical line of symmetry. If a vertical line divides an object into two identical halves, it is called a vertical line of symmetry. That means that the vertical line goes from top to bottom or vice versa in an object and divides it into its mirror halves. All our previous example are vertical line of symmetry. Horizontal line of symmetry. If a horizontal line divides an object into two identical halves, it is called a horizontal line of symmetry. 
That means the horizontal line of symmetry goes from left to right or vice versa in an object. Diagonal line of symmetry. If a diagonal line divides an object into two identical halves, it is called a diagonal line of symmetry. That means the diagonal line of symmetry goes sideways or slanting in an object. Some shape or object can have multiple lines of symmetry. Shapes with one line of symmetry have only one line that divides them into identical parts. Just like letter A with one vertical line of symmetry. Shapes with multiple lines of symmetry have more than one line that divides them equally. The axis of symmetry can be horizontal, vertical or diagonal just like this small letter X. Let us practice. Determine how many lines of symmetry do the given figure have. I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is 1. One vertical line of symmetry. How about this capital letter H? How many lines of symmetry do the given figure have? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is 2. One vertical and one horizontal line of symmetry. How about this equilateral triangle? How many lines of symmetry do the given figure have? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is 3. One vertical and two diagonal line of symmetry. How about this square? How many lines of symmetry do the given figure have? I will give you 10 seconds to answer, and the timer starts now. And the answer is 4. One vertical, one horizontal and two diagonal line of symmetry. Remember, a symmetrical figure has parts that match exactly when folded along a line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is a line that cuts a shape exactly in half. This means that if you were to fold the shape along the line, both halves would match exactly. Activity 1. Tell if the dashed line in each letter of the alphabet shows a line of symmetry. Write check or X on the line. Activity 2. Write yes or no on the line if the dashed line in each figure shows a line of symmetry.
Activity 3. Name the figure. Write it on the line and draw the line of symmetry. Activity 4. Draw the missing half of the figure. Activity 5. Draw five simple figures and draw a line of symmetry.